Hamilton's taking over the state capitol today for the Rally for Life. The goal was to draw attention to the 45th anniversary of the Supreme Court decision in Roe versus Wade. Governor Greg Abbott served as the keynote speaker. He praised the passage of 10 anti-abortion bills at the state house in the last year. Governor Abbott said as a result of their efforts, there were 9,000 fewer abortions in Texas last year compared to the previous year. We will continue to defend the unborn. We will continue to give a voice to the voiceless. And we will fortify the culture of life in Texas. Working together, we will keep Texas the most pro-life state in the United States of America. And we will give every child a chance at life. Governor Abbott says he will continue to work to defund Planned Parenthood. A smaller counter protest was also held. These folks showing up with signs and several wore handmaid's robes. The rally did remain peaceful and no arrests were made. Just two weeks ago, the Department of Public Safety tightened the rules on what you cannot bring to a protest on state capitol grounds. No more metal signs, gas masks, cans of spray paint, glass bottles, pepper spray, drones, and firearms, except when authorized under license to carry. We checked in and found during last week's Women's March, only one person was caught violating those new rules. They were wearing a helmet and left when asked. We will check in this week to see if any other violations happen today. And after an arrest caught on camera last week at City Hall, we checked in with the Austin Police Department to see if they had any similar plans to ban items at City Hall. They tell us right now there is no conversation happening. Police say they only step in if someone gets physical or is damaging the property. As for patrolling protests, APD says it looks into the number of people expected to turn out to decide how many officers they will place there. Every officer is trained for these situations. Situations. And in 1999, Austin police formed a special rep response team. It's made up of 120 officers who specifically train for situations like these protests and big events like South by Southwest. Again, not all 120 officers respond to every event. It is based on the anticipated need.